On the Bright Side is brought to you by Ministry of Education, Culture, Science, and Technology, and UNICEF. On hot days or after a day of physical activities, the body yearns for rehydration. Whether it's ice cold or room temperature, water is a source of survival for every living thing. It's essential for bodily functions, ecosystems and agriculture, making its preservation crucial for future generations. Hi, my name is Sasha Cho. I am Sashil Cho participated in a poetry competition and spoke about the importance of water. We drink it to stay strong and well. In baths and showers, we can tell. For plants and animals, it's live key, a precious resource for you and me. Cho was one of five students from Mayamopan Government Primary School who participated in a poetry competition organized by the Public Utilities Commission. Principal Magnolia Pop told us more. We wanted to show off the talent of our students here. Because most of the time, sometimes we f feel like we are a forgotten school. You know, we are in the rural area. So I think this, is, this was the best opportunity for us to show what our students are capable of doing. And again, encouraging them in their writing, especially when it comes to poetry. Gia Tech emphasized the importance of protecting larger bodies of waters. Noting that while we enjoy water for leisure, we must also safeguard it, just as we do with smaller bodies of water. In Belize, by the Caribbean Sea, where water flows so wild and free, children play and laugh with glee as they learn of peace and harmony. Water for peace, a theme so grand, it teaches us to work hand in hand to protect our rivers, lakes and sea for a future where peace will always be. There we're talking about how important it is um, for them to keep the water clean, um, the uses of water, for example, for it to water the plants, um, for them not to waste water. Those were some of the things that they included in their poem. It's about what's happening on earth and in Belize. There's violence coming into the world and that is how we pollute the water. It is violating the water with pollution and littering at the water. And if it starts with us to take action, to stop littering, and by bringing that action, it will bring it to the world and we will have peace, like water. In Belize, where the water flows, bringing peace to hearts aglow. From the Caribbean sea so wide, to caves where secrets hide. Blue hole deep, mysterious and grand. Maya mountains towering, a majestic land. Stephanie Thomas assisted many of the students with writing their poems. She observed that those who participated clearly understood the value of what they expressed. They did not take it for granted. One of the reasons why is because, like, look at us right now. Water is needed and it's really hot and what is keeping us active is the water. So um, for them, they don't take it light. Water is part of our earth. It's part of us as well. Water brings peace to our world. Without water, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't survive. So then water is pretty much part of us and, we, and it brings peace to our countries. So what was it like writing a poem like this to ensure that the public would know that water is peace and it's important for us to preserve it? It was challenging and also interesting at the same time. I had to do some research, but I also had help from my family, my classmates and my teacher. Water for peace, in rivers calm, peace finds its place. Oceans gigantic, a tranquil embrace. Each droplet speaks of unity. Let's guard it with greater scrutiny. From kindness springs, let's draw our sip and wash away differences in its grip. Hand in hand, let's spread the call. For water's peace unites us all. Ki ki ha, se metiduna, agua rica, nice water. Well, the message behind it is for us to know that as people we should unite together and to keep water, to remind ourselves that water is very important to not only us as people but for the animals, the plant and everything in Belize. 
Deja Shal urged all Belizeans to do their part in recognizing the importance of water every day. So let's conserve and not waste. Water for peace, let's make it a taste. Let's share and care for every drop. In Belize, let's make water our top. So here's the 2024 Water Day. Let's celebrate in a big way. Water for peace, let's all unite. In Belize, let's make it right. Looking on the bright side, I'm Sabrina Daly. On the Bright Side was brought to you by Ministry of Education, Culture, Science and Technology, and UNICEF.